I'm having a pretty good time. Cammy Fick is yeah. like most dog owners. They're my family. They're just like my other kids. Except these kids are not allowed everywhere. We do have a ban in place, and it's it's um, breed specific for three different kinds of pit bulls. So dog owners like Fick oh cannot live in Ashland. That's a place that we would really like to live just because of, you know, where I work. Ashland's police chief contends it's out of fear. People are fearful that they themselves, their neighbors, their children may be injured by the dogs. Ashland's pit bull ban was enacted in October 1987, stating it shall be unlawful to keep, harbor, own, or in any way possess within the corporate limits of the city of Ashland, Missouri, any pit bull dog. <coughs> Bans like these not only affect dog owners, <coughs> But rescues too. Shelters like the Central Missouri Humane Society have a harder time adopting out bully breeds. That difficulty can be attributed to many different factors, including breed restrictions, um, insurance and housing restrictions, and just basic uh, stigmas in the community about the, the breeds in general. If the state government puts a muzzle on breed specific legislation, <laughs> It could help rescues help more dogs. The more communities that are open to these breeds, the more potential for adoption we have. Wolford says he thinks times are changing. We've learned that probably the owner is more responsible for the dog's behavior than necessarily the dog itself. One Jefferson City woman agrees. I just think that if you want to own a pit bull, you should be responsible. Oh, oh Lukanoff worries about her children. You know, I don't want my kids to have to walk down the street coming home from school and worry about somebody's pit bull. She's not just worried about her kids. Lukanoff used to run along this road around Holt Summit until she says she felt in danger because of what she calls aggressive dogs on the loose. I would run and occasionally I would have these big dogs come at me. She thinks legislation should be left to the cities. The city should be able to decide that, not it should not be a state law. Because obviously different cities, different counties have different problems. Breed ban or not, Fix says she'll continue owning pit bulls. I wouldn't give them up for the world. Meg McLeod, KOMU 8 News, Jefferson City.